Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today I have for you the review of the Urbi E Sport GT model. So lo and behold, they've expanded the lineup. They have now four different models from last year's two different models. So they had the standard and the pro last year. This year they start with the Sport, the Sport GT, which is basically their entry level. And then they go to the pro and the pro GT. The price line is basically dropped now to start around $899, which is definitely a much better price point. Um, they've also done a lot of improvements. Let's go ahead and start with review, check it out and see how this thing fares out. I want to say thank you very much to Irby for allowing me to play around for the, uh, with this for about a week here. Uh, but let's not waste any time. This is TK, let's check it out. And here we go. <laughs> Uh, one of the things, or at least a few things that they did to the actual model from last year is uh, they decided to go with just basically aircraft grade aluminum here. Uh, they didn't go with uh, carbon fiber as they still have that on the Pro and the Pro GT model. So for the Sport and the Sport GT, it's all aluminum. It's very nice. It actually dropped about five pounds in weight, which is one of the main benefits here. Uh, the other thing here is the construction. You'll notice that the handles now actually collapsed where last year's handles were pretty much just stable. And there, that's where really where the carbon fiber was pretty much in there. Uh, we still have a lot of different accessories. I'll show you guys a little bit of close up on this. Uh, but the other thing they also did is they dropped the size of the battery. So now we have a maximum range of 16 uh, miles uh, with a maximum speed of 14 miles an hour. The uh, other thing that we also have here is a much lighter body, as I mentioned, easier to kind of carry. And they put in a couple of leather straps on it. So you're pretty much e able to go real quick on this and you're able to just drop the arms and you have two, two basic uh, carriers one in the front one in the back uh, the one in the front is basically mounted to the battery and the one in the back is mounted directly to the frame uh, much easier to carry it go into the places get out again 30 pounds not exactly light but still lighter than the pro model uh, the last thing I wanted to show you guys is they actually also added a nice little option to be able to make it stand and stabilizing it it stands up pretty good uh, very simple very easy it takes very little space literally almost almost about a foot and a half in length and not even a foot in width and then of course it goes up to about maybe four feet or so or three and a half feet as far as height i like it i like the uh, the setup on it it's very very good and then opening it up you go up there's a button in the back you push it down you put it in bring up the kickstand and you're ready to go the accessories are still pretty much the same. We have the basket, we have the LED light in the back, a cup holder, uh, the different options here. They did say that they're going to be working about putting in some more of those decals on the side now. Since in the front, your battery pretty much sits right in the front up here. Uh, where in the older model, you, you kind of had to insert it in the front silo. Uh, we still have the ability of using that little kill switch I showed you guys last year, which gives me the ability of killing the throttle and then pushing it again, brings it back to life. Um, other than that, really very nice. We still have the front kickstands, which are very nice to be able to actually stabilize the, the, your feet. When you first ride it for a while, and that's one thing I noticed with the original one is, as much as the back one was more comfortable to put in because I felt more stable, when I'm actually riding it for an extended amount of time, you don't want to keep your legs in that little crouch position because you're bending for circulation of blood. When you put it in the front, it's much easier. It kind of mimics the ability of basically as if you're sitting down on a chair. And with the suspension, we actually have better support with the GT models, the Sport GT models specifically, and the Pro GT, um, as we have better suspension, of course, going up the style. Uh, the standard model, with the, which is basically the Sport, is still very, very nice. I think at $899, it's a great entry point. Very nice, similar design to this. I'm going to show you guys real quick uh, this how this actually handles this hill. I'm going to go all the way to the top. Um, again, it's intended to basically work in any kind of environment, and this has really good torque, so let's check it out. So as you guys saw, um, it does have the ability of handling the hills. Now, is it going to be running, going uphill the same speed as you were going you know, downhill? Of course not. Uh, it does lose some of its power. I'm hoping with the Pro models, we have a lot more power on there as the battery capacity and the motors are slightly better. Uh, now, just keep in mind that the Pro and the Pro GT did keep the original design. So basically, the carbon fiber and the aluminum are both used to basically have uh, a much better, stronger construction. And the tires on those things are also slightly different. Um, on the GT and the Sport GT model, we have the Never Inflate tires, which essentially are rubber tires. 
And what we have on the Sport and the Sport uh, and the Pro and the Pro GT model is their new design tires, which essentially are tires and they're much better and, hand, and designed to handle much better rugged uh, environments, meaning you know gravel, sand, uh, sand, uh, you know, different environments other than just flat surface, which is what this model is intended for. So I've had the actual Irby for about a week now and um, as far as using it, it's a pleasure to use it. There's really not that much to complain about as far as using it. Um, it's light, it's small, I like the fact that it's easy to take with you. Uh, the kickstand is positioned in a way where you can just basically have it stand if it's in open position. Um, now again, there's four different models, there's different price point for whatever you want to use. Uh, again, same reason as last year I was going to say is uh, just make sure that you have a reason for it. If it's going to serve a purpose for you as far as helping you go from one place to another, this is going to definitely work for you. Uh, I like the fact that they dropped the price down to $899 as the starting point with the Sport model. The Sport GT as we have here is definitely a, a much nicer upgrade as we get more torque. Uh, better control and much basically all in on better ride. This is the power core. Uh, again, it, what we have here from last year is a smaller power core, much easier, much lighter. We still have one of the handles on it. Uh, you have to believe of obviously turning it on to be able to see the battery on it. So let's go ahead and put the key. And right now it says I have 82%. I'm not sure, hopefully you guys could see that. We have two ports here, five volts and one amp. And on the other side, we have two additional ports at five volts and one amp. We also have a USB type C with fast charging. It hasn't been turned on in this model yet as this is not available on the market, but they are, uh, they are promising us the ability to be able to charge up our MacBook Pros with this. Last thing here is we have XLR type power, which is different than what we had. And not only that, now it charges from zero to 100% in one in three hours as opposed to the four hours with the original model. One of the main benefits I like about this is the fact that the arms are now collapsible. And also they have a much wider stance, so you're no longer kind of grabbing it at this end. They go a little bit wider. The, great, uh, the actual brake is still pretty good. And of course, all the different accessories can be mounted either on it or in the back, uh, you know, front lights, all of the different things. I'll, you, I'll give you guys a link in the description below to be able to check out all the additional things that came out with this. Uh, thanks again to Irby for allowing me to be able to play around with this for about a week. This has been a blast. I really wish I could just keep this. So um, Irby, if you definitely want to give me one, I'm, I'm your friend here, so just send it over. Uh, but again, thank you very much. Check them out. They're definitely a great company, a great staff. Uh, they have two locations in Pasadena. I was able to go check it out and actually play around with the Pro GT model. And that is just by far the best ride you could ever get on an Irby. Like and subscribe as usual. Thank you very much for the support and I'll see you guys in the next video.